I live in Phoenix, Arizona. It's a hot and dry place. And then there's the monsoons. It's a killer environment for house paint. My house needed painting and I needed someone who could get it done and get it done right. A friend of mine recommended Bob Fisher of RLF Painting and I made the call. This is what I started with. And this is what I ended up with. But I'll let Bob tell you more about the process. As I look at the overall condition of what the house, what kind of condition it's in, and I look for you know, uh, the condition of the existing coatings, whether they're uh, delaminating, they're chalking, all the things that can go bad with coatings, I, I look at that aspect of the, um, of the job. And then I look at the condition of all the substrates, whether it be the stucco, if there's an excessive amount of cracking, if they have wood damage, garage door damage, any kind of damage, I bring it to their attention. And then I give them options on what can be done. The biggest thing generally is the landscaping. We require them to trim back any trees, bushes, vegetation, anything that's up against the house, because in the long run, if you get all those things away from the home, you can give them a, good, a better quality product. We come and we remove all the screens, and then we do our washing, and we clean the windows after that. Stem walls take a very uh, big beating, and that's generally where you'll see a lot of paint that's uh, peeling and, and checking. And We take a little special attention uh, we pull back all the rocks, any landscaping that's there, we pull all that back and then we dig the stem wall down as far as uh, possible and that way we can scrape the stem, we can patch it and prime the stem. So we do all those things so that um, it can be well exposed, well prepped and then the painting or the coating that goes on there it can be good solid coating to, to where it will hold up. We'll prime and fill in all that checking and make it so that it becomes a solid surface and then what that'll do is it'll extend the life of the paint because it, you're not allowing the moisture and the element to get in there to get behind the product, the paint, and, and then break it down. Any time that we have uh, horizontal surfaces we like to encapsulate that. That's part of the, the general uh, preparation that we always do. We use an elastomeric product. The purpose of that is, is to get the surface to what it, where it's called pinhole free or where you have a nice solid surface to coat over. And what that again will do is it'll uh, help impede any of that moisture. And that's what we try to do with a lot of the techniques and the things that we do in a simple paint job is come up with ways and ideas that can be very cost effective and use, used in a exterior repaint for say and it, it goes a long way in, in having that paint job last a lot longer by just doing some small little things at the beginning in the preparation stage. A lot of garage doors they are such a large surface and they're a they, again, they, they take a lot of exposure, so there's nothing really protecting them. They're, they're wide open to the element, so they, they get pretty beat up also. Uh, a good washing, um, if need be, uh, spot priming will have it. A lot of the bucks on the doors, they, those will peel. A lot of the homes, when they're originally done, they don't prime those things so the paint doesn't well adhere to them over a long period of time. So we, we'll spot prime them, make them back to new condition prior to painting. And then once you've painted it, you know, you get a good sound surface and it, it, it should hold up for quite a long time. When you paint stucco, there's a, there's a lot of misconceptions on how, uh, how to do it correctly. Sometimes it requires a spray and a back roll. Sometimes you can just do a two coat, what you call a two coat cross by spraying stucco uh, up and down and sideways and what that does it um, it gets all the angles of, of the stucco so so that you're you get a, a better coverage and you get better in more mill thickness there's still some people that say that rolling's better well in my opinion 
it is in certain instances, but in a, in, in a lot of instances by spraying it correctly, you can put a lot of paint on there if by the correct tip sizes, um, how the pass is done. There's a lot of things involved in it to where you can get a very good quality surface coverage. A lot of the products today even have technology built into them where uh, some of it has what they call crawl technology where in the, in the instances of a Spanish lace stucco, it goes behind it and it gets in areas where um, by spraying it, it gets a full coverage and that's what you're trying to do is get a good coverage on your stucco so that you get a longevity out of it and that's the whole thing is you don't want to have to be painting your house every three years every four years every five years um, it, by using the higher grade quality products the correct techniques and a good applicator you can get a lot longer out of your the life of your coating than the average Joe will get. The house looks amazing and the process was real easy. The RLF painting team did things I would never have thought of, much less done myself. The prep was done in just a single day and all the cracks and other damages were fixed and by the next day the whole house was painted. They caulked around windows, filled in cracks in the fascia board, covered plants with drop cloths, covered the driveway and walks with plastic and they not only took off all the screens but they even power washed them and put them back on. RLF Painting also does interior painting and has many other specialty services which I will be using in the future. You need to make the call just like I did and set up an appointment with Bob. Bob and his team are not just professional painters they are amazing craftsmen and if you want to make your house look better you need to plant one of these in your front yard. By the way, this is a true story. This is my house and months later I am still getting compliments from my neighbors as to how great my house looks.